Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of Iron Penge and we are back with some more city-states. So here is the very small but but burgeoning but growing city-state of Pangea. Now, I was looking at this just at the end of the last part, just in terms of uh, what I was going to do next. I think I might need some more food. I might possibly need some more farming areas, so I might bump up some more farms there. And then, my plan is build a gigantic housing thing there because this is a bit of a strange game it's a sort of it's a city building game yes as we can see i have a city here and there are houses and people and cars going on the roads which there wasn't earlier and then the weird thing is you don't build anything else around it so you don't have to build like a police station or a school you've got no sort of centers you've got uh, no commercial areas you've got industry kind of comes into these bits but essentially i could just build a great big grid and just fill it with Fill it with these things, fill it with the low density, the medium density or the high density housing. And then just sort of, that's it really. <laughs> It'll just fill in. I don't need to worry about anything else. So it's a bit of a strange, it's a strange concept. Right, let's go down the cheap route. You can have cheap rows for the minute because you're all, no, no, not like that though. <laughs> no, 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 no. Right, uh, pretend you didn't see that. That, that didn't happen, all right? You ain't seen nothing. Oh, I'm just going to build some roads entirely correctly and not like an idiot. There we go. Lovely roads. And this road can go to those mountains. Why the heck not? Now, up here, we've got some jungle. We have some jungle tiles, which is jolly exciting. So we could, in theory, if we could find... Where's the uh, prospect to all the other? There would be gold in them, our jungles. So, yes, we could... Go through and get some cool stuff from there. So that that's probably worth doing as well. Now, I've, I've done this a bit stupid. I've done this a little bit wobbly. It's a little bit poorly designed, to be honest. You might be surprised to find out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this is an entirely stupid way of doing this. Right, okay, so if I get another road, uh, if I got the same road, if I bring that round the edge of that mountain, and let's connect, let's try and connect these up. Uh, oh, an, an issue. There is. There be an issue. Let's go and deal with our social, whatever it is, economic, political issue thing. Should the government help homeless people? Yes. Uh, th my immediate response is yes, you should. Um, but permanent shelter facilities and provide food and activities to all homeless people. Yes, that. 24 per month. Yes. Do that, please. So the lower income don't actually like that. I thought they would be in favour of The higher income, not really bothered. Middle income are in favour of it. Lower income, not. I would have thought they would have been in favour of that. Okay, well, never mind. Uh, one thing I would like to do with this game, and I might I might do it, I might just have a go. I want to play normally the way I want to play. And then I might play as a horrible, terrible human being. <laughs> I think it might be quite fun to just play as someone who is utterly terrible. Someone who, yeah, no, no, homeless people, no. Everything, just all the bad choices, just to see what happens and how the city-state develops because that could be quite interesting couldn't it that could be very intriguing okay and then we're going to build a road it's going to have to come down the middle so i can make use of this space so let's do this and then down like that and then uh, let's just put a road over to there like that and then and then that can go up there so i think everything should be within three tiles of a road within this horrendous road structure <laughs> Which, which, I'll admit, is absolutely terrible. Uh, right, okay, farms. Yes, farmland, please. Hello, farmland. Farms? Farmland. Yay, there we go. Right, so cultivate that. Cultivate. Oh, I need to knock the forest down first, do I? Yeah, it's a bit weird. It doesn't take them down automatically. Okay, fine, yeah, knock the forest down. Boo, away with your nature. Farming is coming. Right, and some more farms. And I think we'll put another lot of farms across there as well so let's destroy you and some more lovely farm areas okay there we go so we've got a big farming area in the middle there. it does look very nice i like the little farming bits so that's good up here housing fill that with housing except where we can do some of this so iron yeah so we've got all those all of those could potentially be full of iron wow okay well that's certainly worth doing then yes drill Industry progress must be made. Yes, exploit, exploit the iron, and you here as well. Let's drill deeper along with you. Yep, allow exploitation of the iron. Why wouldn't you? I don't really know what the impact is. I don't know if it has a health impact or something. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, let's keep drilling for this one. Oh, this one is proving to be elusive, and I think possibly the last time we can drill. Uh, oh no, I think we can possibly go to the next level down. 
Uh, do you know what? Let's just keep going, shall we? Let's see whether whether we can find it. No. Okay. So unsuccessful. So what happens now then? I've not really had an unsuccessful one. That just remains as a pile of rubble, does it? Oh dear. Well, I better sort that out. Um, let's leave that mount. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe. Okay, right. If you click the mountains and then cancel thing, it it destroys it. Yeah. Okay. Right. Let's let's not destroy any more mountains. <laughs> I like the way we very easily obliterate mountains. So go us. Right. Yeah. Let's clear that. Clear that. Leave a mountain in place. Right, this can be low-density housing -y stuff. Yes, more people. More people equals more taxes. Yep, okay. All that in there. bibbly bobbly boo Splendid. Right, okay, and then we'll have some medium-density stuff along here. Why the heck not? Right, and then there's going to be some areas like those which we cannot do anything with. Now, what are the chances? 3%, 15%, 20%. Well, let's go for the 28% one. Let's give that a go. Uh, do you drill? Do you drill for gold? You might have mined for gold. I don't think you would drill for gold. And um, yeah, let's let's tear those bits down. Good goodbye, goodbye rainforest. And uh, well, let's put in one of these ploppable things. Let's put in a park slap bang in the middle. So that looks all very pretty. And I've still got money coming in, so that's good. Uh, and then uh, yes, another medium density kind of housingy thingy. Okay, so that's that's quite a big. That's quite a big chunk of land that we've built on there. That's pretty good. Right, over here. Oil. Is there any oil over here? Mm, not really. No, that's not really worth it, is it? That's not really worth the effort, I don't believe. Uh, okay, now let's go along here then. Let's go along here. Uh, right, so one, two, three. If I want to do what I wanted to do. One, two, three. One, two, three. So we need to build a road kind of there. Going up along that way. So let, let's let's try this, shall we? So one, two, three, one, two, three, and then another road just there. And that road then comes down here. Now there is a mountain in the way. Now can we get iron out of that mountain? Let's go and have a little look. Iron, are you there? No. And again, yay. Okay, right. So there is some iron in that mountain. Right. Is there anything else around here? Right. Potential for gold. Pretty much guaranteed. Let's drill for gold. Okay. Exploit that, like the terrible person I am. And uh, yeah, that one as well. So drill deeper. Wow. Okay, right. Lots of lovely shiny gold. Another issue has come in. Uh, okay, I can't build on that tile. Reclaim, yeah, okay, and destroy and destroy and destroy and destroy and destroy and destroy and reclaim and reclaim and reclaim and reclaim. Right, okay, now there are roads. So we can have a road going in like that and then along there. And then I'm going to blat all this stuff in here and then we'll fill this with housing. And because it's all three tiles away from a road somewhere, whether it's this side or that side, that should all be full of lovely housing. We'll plump a park in the middle somewhere. Right, an issue. Should the government start a space program? Private companies can get into space-related activities, but without any government support, unlocks the space centre. Uh, space exploration activities are restricted. Support and subsidise space research. Unlock space research centre. Create a national space exploration programme. So that costs 73 per month. That is 37. That's nothing. And that gives us money, one assumes. Oh no, that's nothing. Do you know what? Yeah, I like space. Let's go to space. Let's create a national space exploration program. Unlocks the space center. Okay, where does that feature then? Is that in here? Where? How do I put a space center down? I want a space center, please. Where's one of those? Uh, okay, it's not water. It's not forest. It's not farmlands. It's not come up as a ploppable, I don't think. They're just parks. None of them look like a space center to me. Um, okay. I don't know how to build the space center, which is a shame because I would quite like one. But uh, yeah, I don't know where one is right now. Okay, right. Well, never mind. Let us obliterate all of these things because there wasn't much else around here in the way of sort of oil and stuff. What's that? 40%? 37%? Do you know what? Nah, I'd rather have houses on there. So let's reclaim this from the desert. Let's obliterate all of this. Yes, goodbye. Progress is coming. I'm just a monster. I'm a terrible human. Right, okay. There we go. And destroyed. And let's put medium density housing in over here then, shall we? So just plop all these in. Blah, 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 blah. Medium density housing. And then in the middle, uh, let's plop a park. There we go. Lovely. And back to medium density housing. There we go. Lovely. And ta-da. Look at that. Progress. This is what progress looks like, everybody. It's terrifying. 
Okay. Now I want to expand that road up there. We might have to dodge around that if we can find gold in these Dar Hills. Let's have a quick look. And yes. <laughs> more gold. So we need to make more monies because we're going to be providing more services to people. So, um... Yeah, we're going to need to make some more money, so we need all this sort of gold and iron and what have you. Right, pretty much guaranteed gold just here. Pretty much, there we go. What was that one next to it? 67%? Yeah, I'd, I'd say that's worth it. It's worth a go. Uh, no, let's just use our oil platform to find that gold. Come on, come on gold, you must be under there somewhere. Maybe under the way, out the way of that oil, maybe. Yay, there we go. Uh, okay, now they don't have much chance, do they? Not really. No, okay, right. I'm willing to I'm willing to sacrifice those. So obliterate, obliterate. Obliterate all of those things. Uh, and we'll cut in like that. Right now there's a thing there. I want to get that and prospect that for gold. Rump. Yay! Splendid. Anything else look really good? The one next to it, 66. We've got two thirds of chance. Yay! <laughs> Right, okay, much gold. There is much in the way of gold. This is splendid news. Uh, right then, that road's going to go across there. So we'll destroy, 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 destroy. And then that's going to come back round. And then, is that that way? Yes, okay, right. And now we can connect this bit up. So we can go road, 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 road. And then this will have to come down. So I know there's only a gap of five there, I think. One, two, three, four. Yeah, there's only a gap of five because of where those mines are positioned. And then down here, look. We can then build this all the way down. It's almost like I planned it. Look, good lord. Uh, right. Any more gold in these? 25, 6, 29. Not really. 29% might be worth possibly going for. Just to see if we can find gold. No, yeah, probably not going to find it. Hey, <laughs> excellent, excellent news. Right, and let's put in some. Let's put in some low, shall we? Some more. Let's have a mix of low. Oh, I need to destroy that on the corner. Away with you forests. Um, yeah, some low density stuff. I think we'll mix it up. We'll have half and half. So this can all be low density up to there, and then we'll put a bark in the middle. The there will do. We'll destroy the rainforest. Like so, because horrible. Blah, 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 blah. Goodbye, trees. Uh, like that. And then we'll fill the rest of this in with medium density stuff. Yay. Right. Okay. So, paint all that in. Splendid. Okay. It, it looks quite cool. Some buildings are being abandoned. Make sure that land value is high enough and that demand bars are positive. Okay. How do I do that? How do I do that? How do I know who's moving into these things? I don't know. Right, but we do have 1,255 coming in every month, so I think we could probably up these. However, let us deal with another important political issue. To what extent or extent should we allow gambling? All gambling businesses allowed, no license required. I am going to play a game where I just create this maverick, terrible state. Um, limited number of casino licenses granted and regular inspections. Casinos are banned. Sports betting tolerated. All type of gambling banned. Yeah, limited number of casino licenses granted. I think that's probably a fair thing. I think that's fine. Sports betting is fine. Limited number of casino licenses. That's fine. Gives us some money back as well. There we go. The lower income like it, the higher income like it, the middle income not so popular, and we get a tiny budget change. Okay, where where is an abandoned building? Can you show me what they look like? Don't know what an abandoned building kind of looks like. Is that abandoned? Is yeah, it looks like it looks like a haunted. <laughs> they look haunted. Okay, yeah, there look an abandoned lot. Okay, but they're being redone already. Look, so they are being repaired. Okay, so what we'll do is. Let's do this. Let's add some more stuff into our potentially education. Let's have a let's have oh, can we add ten on each? That'd be good. Uh yeah, like that. And another ten. And another ten. Like that. So we still make one thousand per month, and we've got all that extra stuff. Right. And let's look at our trading stuff. We produce 192. We consume 113. So we sell it for 40. Iron is making us a lot of money. Gold is making us an absolute. Gold is making the money. Gold and iron. You thought oil would be, would be better there, wouldn't you? But but no. Oil seemingly not as important as you might think in this game. Right. Let's go here. I don't think there was anything on those tiles, was there? No. Nothing really near those oil tiles. 
I am going to uh, oil tiles, desert tiles. Farewell, farewell, desert. You shall be destroyed. Right, away with the away with the desert because that's just rubbish. The desert was pointless. Get the road. Put the road in like that. Da, 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 da. Then destroy this wibbly bit of road because that's a bit stupid. Uh, yeah, destroy. Controls are sometimes a little bit like there. Look, I clicked it and it's a little bit wobbly sometimes. Right, and we'll put in uh, middle, middle, st middle, please. There we go. Medium density, splendid. Right, okay. So there's that. So that's looking good. It's all done. It all looks cool. We've got some more people moving in. Possibly need some more farms again. Maybe put a massive farming belt over that side. That'd be quite cool. And I don't have to bother going round lots of woods and, well, uh, rainforest and stuff there. Not too many because it's just all foresty over here. So that might be quite a good idea, actually. Can we do that? Can we do that? So let's build. Oh, is there anything to anything around here? 28, 21. Do you know what? No. No, not bothered. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Destroying all of the rainforest. There's oil just there, though. That's quite good. That's very encouraging. So what we might do is actually... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we build a road there uh, and destroy those two... So get rid of that and get rid of that. Oh, oh, there's oh, there'll be oil just there, but it's gone a bit weird. Yes, yeah, start the survey. Drill deeper. Find me that oil, please, because that will make monies. Okay, so if we go along here, if we build a road that goes like that and up and round, so then have we got six there? One, two, three, four, five. It'll be a gap of five. So, right, now what's that? Oh, wrong button. Is that there? No, there's, no, there's nothing there. No, rubbish tile. So, if we do that, we then build a road up like this. Right, there is a mountain selfishly in the way. But if we move that in like that, and just go click like that, let's see if we can exploit this mountain for all it's worth. Give me the monies. No, no, not found it. Yay, lovely iron. And all that can be farms. All that can be... Put the farms down then. I don't understand why you can... Okay, so I need to knock all those trees down first before I can then build farms on it. Okay, fine. Let's just do that then. Why can't you assume that I want to auto clear the tile? I don't know. Right, okay, goodbye trees. Make way for farms. Right, good. Now farms. Can I put farms down now? Massive farm belt. Yeah, look at that with roads around it. Right, this looks good. I like this. Yeah, look at that. Okay, that looks very good. I do like that. Nice big farming bit. Looks impressive. Good. Uh, and then we want to expand this bit out, I think. We want to expand that bit out as much as we can. Uh, okay, right. So we're still making some money. Yes, yeah, so we're making a bit more money on foodstuffs. We're producing more. Yeah, it's still not a lot, is it really? It's still not great. Uh, oil is still good. Yeah, but gold. Gold is the thing that's making us all of the money now. When we get up to places like there, when we move over to here eventually, and just carve out a network of roads and stuff in here, that'll be very, very impressive. Uh, yeah, okay. I've read that message. Hide tutorial. Well, don't hide the tutorial, but hide that message. Make sure that land value is high enough and that demand bars are positive. I, 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 demand bars are here. I don't know how to... I don't know how to make upper-class economy happen. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure how that <laughs> how that works. Uh, okay, fine. And I've still got a credit rating of... ah, Which is interesting. And a net change of 2.3, which I think is we all know. We all know is very important, that net change of 2.3. And finally, an issue. Right, okay. Should electricity, water, and waste disposal be handled by the municipalities? All utilities should be privatised and open to free concurrence. Allow public-private partnerships to manage service utilities. These utilities should only be handled by local municip municipalities and public companies. Every utility is a public institution. Employees benefit from special pension programme and security of employment. I quite like the idea of that. Make the people happy. That's good, isn't it? And it's only 67 a month. Yeah, let's go down that route. Yeah, so every utility is public and it's good and employees get special pensions and employment security. That's got to be a good thing. So, oh dear. Right, okay, that was quite divisive then. That was a divisive thing. So the middle-income people, absolutely, they are partying in the streets about that. Lower-income people are mumbling under their breath, as are the higher-income people. They're sort of muttering rude things at the uh, at the middle class. Middle-income people who are partying. okay. Uh, that was interesting. Yeah, that had more of an effect than I thought it was going to. Also, let's get... Can we 
do that a bit more. Yeah, there we go. So now we get some more people coming in. There we go. We get more people coming in from elsewhere, which is good. You yeah, look at that. We plummeted on the stock market following that change. Then we've come straight back up again. Is that good? Bonds. Oh, I don't know what this is. Total debt. Nothing. Yearly payment. Nothing. Expenses. Amount to issue. Interest rate. But Okay, bonds is a loan. I, is that a loan? I, a government bond is a loan then. Amount to issue. Okay, right, so I can get a load of money. Oh, well, I don't need that. I've got 35 grand. It's fine. I'm running an entire country on $35,000. So that's fine. Yeah, I don't, I don't need a bond. That's absolutely fine. I, I, if it's a loan, I think that's what it is. Uh, so 6,800 people. Let's have a look at this. Public approval, 47%. That's not very good, is it? That is rubbish. Why? Why do the people not love me? I've given them a beautiful town full of places to work and there's a park every so often. And there's no schools or anything else, but that's fine. Uh, low income, middle income, high income, growth rate. What is a naught percent? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. So, uh, well-being. There is no obesity. There is no alcoholism. There is. There are no drug addicts. Good grief. This is a, a nice boy. Why is my public approval rating so low? Uh, suicide rate, near smoking. People smoke, dearie me. Uh, some people have got philosophy stuff. Hip, there's 28% of hipsters. Gun ownership has gone right down. And uh, the amount of beautiful women has gone up. There are now 74% beautiful women. Uh, and nobody plays nobody plays SimCity 4. But uh, a quarter of the people play City Skylines, which is uh, interesting. Yeah, okay. Approval rating creeping back up. Now, this is the only thing. I, I don't know what to do to make this any different. Now, normally, in a regular, say, Skylines or SimCity or whatever, you'd go, ah, well, if the people are unhappy, I'll give them things and I will put in police stations and I will put in fire stations and schools and hospitals and all that kind of stuff. You don't really have that here. Unless I'm missing it, unless I'm missing a really obvious thing that I just can't see. I'm fairly sure I'm not, though. I'm fairly sure these are the only things we can build. So, um, yeah, I, I really don't know. I don't know. I mean, yeah, the quality of life is fair. I mean, how do I make it better? Would I lower the taxes? Is that, that way madness lies. Uh, I think let's add another five onto each of these things. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. That's good. So it'll cost us a bit of money, but education, health and security will go up, which is a good thing. Right, well, we've got some money left. Let's expand this bit then. Let's get the road to go around the edge of this mountain. Let's go up this way. Right, now there's going to be mountains in the way now. Are these good mountains? Oh, that's a very good mountain for iron, for irons. Can find some irons. Yeah, no, no irons in that bit. Come on, more irons. Oh, no, it would look like a good mountain and it's I'm going to fail at all costs. No? Okay. Oh, no, there we go. There we go. There's some iron. Okay, and then we'll just go around it like... Uh, has that got any chance of anything? Not really. Right. Uh, destroy you. Splendid. And then along like that. Is there anything, any chance of oil on those? Not particularly. Right. Obliterate you. Obliterate you. Back onto the roads. Bish, bash, bosh. Okay. Good. One thing I might do is... These roads, I don't really know what the difference is, but these that's like a big, important road through the middle there. So can I upgrade it to this? If I go on that road, because that road there, highway, is $10 to build and it costs one to maintain. That's $20 to build and costs two to maintain. That's $30 to build and costs three to maintain, which implies to me that it's somehow better, although I don't know quite why. So I'm going to upgrade this. I'm going to upgrade the road system and just see if that makes things any different. If people... Uh, quality of life is excellent now. Yes. Okay, everyone loves a big, nice road. I think it might have been those changes that I made. But okay, right. So let's move that along like that. Okay. Yeah, so we've made the roads bigger, better. I don't know. But yeah, there's cars going on this. So if we increase the capacity of those roads like that, that might help possibly i don't know i don't know if that is gonna happen i don't actually know right is there anything worth getting out of any of these no there really is not that is a there's a terrible area for prospecting anything gold possibly 29 percent risk it we can chance it a little bit let's give it a go yay <laughs> always worth a go i think everything else looks very low however i think we've got any 20 percent chances anywhere else and an issue an issue has arisen Taxi cabs regulations. Should we control the quantity and the quality of taxi cabs in our state? Yes, I think we should. 
uh, standard licenses, limited number of licenses, but allocated on the basis of an auctioning system. All taxi cabs are operated and controlled by a state-owned company. No. Uh, the first one, I, I didn't bother reading. No regulation. Anyone could be a taxi driver with a regular business permit. No, that way, that's a bit silly. Um, a limited number of licenses to be allocated on the basis of an auctioning system. Yeah, I like that idea. And it gives us 35 Gives us $35 to the uh, to the coffers. So that's quite good. Ah, now that is good. So lower and middle, not bothered. Higher income, yes. Yes. Okay. Good. I like that then. Uh, okay, now let's just obliterate all these tiles. Obliterate you, your rainforest, your rainforest, your just deserty stuff. So obliterate the desert. Uh, rainforest. Okay. Well, what I might do here is high density. Let's put some high density housing along there like that three rows of that and then let's put low density next to it let's put some low density stuff next to it hello out there and then low density across here like that why is no one moving into my beautiful building oh hang on let's take that one out let's put uh one of those in let's put a park in at great expense i might add okay Right, that's looking good. I think this is looking pretty good. Look at it, it's, it's huge. It's actually, it's taking up a significant chunk of the island. That's what, a fifth of the island filled in right there? Okay, okay, cool, that's good, that's good. Uh, right, now we just need to make sure that we're making the use of all the resources that we can. So, oh, there's a tile there that we could put something on. What about a bit of high densities? And, uh, yeah, down here we could put ourselves some stuff. Is there anything on here that we could try? Oh, oil. Yeah, get some oil. Get some oil going, please. And no oil. Come on, there's definitely oil there. I saw it with my actual face eyes. There we go. Uh, anything else to exploit along here? There's some more oil potentially just there. Okay. Wing it and give it a go. Yay! And uh, mountainy things. Well, we'll deal with them maybe later. Now, yeah, up here is going to be interesting. This is going to be a bit complicated to try and work out, I think. Do we move out this way? I would like to sort that bit out and get to the edge. Get to over there. Sort of fill up that bit of the island, I think might be a good idea. However, we also have a kind of unused bit down here. With mountains and stuff. So yeah, I feel like we need to put something down here too. So if, can we get a road in behind these or something? I don't think we can get a road in down there. So what if we just build ourselves... A road like that, going along the edge of the mountains. And we are going to have to sacrifice one of those mountains. So let's get rid of you. Let's destroy... I mean, how do you destroy a mountain so easily? I have no idea. But okay, right, gold. Let's see if we can get gold from just there. So, no. And give it another go. No. Are we just going to end up with no gold from that tile at all? Certainly looks that way. No, there's some shiny stuff. Uh, okay. So now that could come round, say there one two three yeah so if we had a road if we had a road destroy that boo away with you then a road like that and it came in so they will be three tiles away or do we just do it like that that's not so bad yeah and that's within three tiles of the road right okay okay this is good uh let's build some uh low density type stuff now what i don't know is what I don't really understand. Do you know what, as well? For environmental reasons, should we put some forests along here? This could be a nice sort of wooded parkland area. Look. Look at all look at all the trees I'm putting in, everybody. That's a lovely, lovely person. Look! A lovely, lovely tree area. Yep, yeah, natural sort of reserve, kind of conservation area thing. That's exactly what that is. Um with upper so the demand for upper is 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 good. So an upper uh, level of economy or something i don't know so the demand is higher so is building smaller things better for that or 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 bigger things now look nobody live nobody is over here this has not taken off at all well just here so this is high density housing and then low density stuff next to it but it's just not nobody's really going for it and i don't really know why people can get to it it's got road access zero it says on it i i, I beg to differ I, I actually truly beg to differ. There is a road right next to it. I know, now it's suddenly pinging into life. I wonder why that didn't initially kick in then. It's a bit weird. Yeah, it says road access north. Maybe it's because it's vacant, possibly. Uh, okay, road access, no. So there, there, there is. 
There's a road right next to it. Is that not what it's supposed to do? Road access. Road access, no. There's a road just there. There's a road just here. Or does it all knit together? Do they all need to be knitted together? Right, now look. Upper class. Right, so maybe I need to build single. Maybe I need to build uh, this sort of lower density stuff. So high density stuff brings in lower class economy. That maybe brings in middle class economy. And that brings in... Oh, I don't know. I don't really know. If you understand how any of that might work, please do let me know because I'm not entirely sure. Okay, let's go and obliterate these resources. Goodbye, environment. Yeah, let's do all these. Right, I'll, I should do all these. I've got some tea to drink. So I shall uh, I shall do all these mountains. I shall work on all these jungle tiles. And we should come back when either they are nothing, in which case we'll put a residential sort of tile on it, or uh, when we've got iron out of it, in which case it'll be a mine. Okay, so I've done that side, and they've all been successful. So there's a great big kind of iron mining operation, and we have an issue. What benefits should families get from the government? So no allowance, minimal allowance to low-income, large, and single-parent families, allowance to all low-income families weighted by the number of children, or extended allowances to all families depending on the number of children in the household. Ooh, that's very tricky. That is very expensive. That is still quite expensive that is a bit expensive and that obviously has no bearing at all i'm not going to put no allowance because that is just nonsense minimal allowance to low income large and single parent families it's still a bit discriminating isn't it against you know if you're a single parent it's discriminating against you know non-single multiple parent families i don't know what the terminology is but non-single parent families allowance to all low income families weighted by the number of children i think is probably a good thing Extended allowances to all families depending on the number of children in the household. Yeah, now if yeah, you see, if you're rich, you don't re if you earn twelve bazillion pounds a day as some sort of hot shot lawyer, then you don't need support because because you don't need it. Whereas this is for people that are in need. So I think we go for that. Now this is this is gonna the, the top people, the upper class people are going to be angry with this, I believe. Oh, oh Okay. Hang on. The lower income people don't like it. Allowance to all low income families. I've given you an allowance and you're angry. Okay. Oh, and I thought the higher income people would be really cross with that, but but uh, no. Okay, fine. That's that's unexpected, but okie doke, right? There you go. Um, is that an abandoned house? No. Oh, it just looks terrible, does it? Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry uh, for criticising your house. Right, let's get on with doing these last mountains. Okay, I've decided to leave that mountain there because I just think it looks quite cool. So all these things, look, you've got this little bay, you've got these posh houses on the front, and look at these fancy pants houses. Yeah, so low density stuff, if put in the right place, actually is for upper class stuff. So now the, the demand for lower is 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 going down. So the demand for lower I don't know what that I don't know what terminology is, lower lower class? I don't know. Lower class, middle class, upper class is is oh it's come back up a little bit. But upper is still growing, but there still is a demand for middle and upper class residences. So I think we could put them over here. So let's put them on this side. So we need to figure out if they are always three from the edge. So I think they should, that, if I put that down to there, that should be fine. So that'll cover one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, so they won't be able to get... Oh, the only tile they can't get is that one, actually, because there'll be three tiles away from there. There'll be three tiles away from there. One, two, yeah, okay, so... The only tile they can't get is that, so why don't we put a park just there? Uh, it's not a gold miney type tile, is it? No, okay. So let's obliterate those, obliterate that, put a ploppable park thingy just there, which is very lovely. Why don't we put another one of those over there as well? I don't think there's any gold in them bar hills. So no, I don't think it's really worth. There's one that was, was there a 30% one somewhere? 3%. Oh, I've, I've achieved small town. Presumably because I've got 10,000 people here. Okay. Okay, that's cool. That's good. I like that. That's a good thing. Uh, okay, yeah, we produce, at the minute as well, we produce loads of food. So my big kind of food belt area over here has indeed, that's worked for now. We've got more than double. We produce 462 and we eat 200 worth of the food. So that's fine. So we make 2,000 worth of uh, from all our exports, mostly from gold, although... Yeah, now that does surprise me. The oil just does not... The oil just does not generate that much. Can I change that, I wonder? Can I change how much I charge for these things? Because I think oil is worth... Oil should be worth a bit more. But I don't think I can. I'm not entirely sure how I would go about doing that, to be perfectly honest. 
Um, no, I don't know. Oh, well, never mind. Never mind. We'll just hide that away and pretend that that never happened. Okay, yeah, so now let's get rid of those jungle tiles then. So we'll obliterate the jungle. Uh, yeah, welcome to the jungle. Uh, I've knocked it down. There we go. And let's put in some low-density sort of housing-y stuff all the way along here. Yes, look, it's out near the beach. It's out near the sea. It's fancy pants housing for everybody. Right, everyone, move in. Now, chop, chop. Come on. There we go. Anyone moving in? A cloud's coming to move in. Okay, come on in, Mr. Cloudface. You can come in. Yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. Well, what I'm going to do is, there is a speed up button. So, I don't really need to do anything. I can just, just sit. I can just sit and watch the world go by. I was going to say, and wait for these issues to come in. To what extent should we particip participate? So, to wildlife protection. Well, given that I'm knocking down singly every piece of forest and rainforest and everything, you would expect me to not give her monkeys, wouldn't you? Uh, no participation. Let private benefactors take care of it. Transform some areas into protected reserves. Restrict and license the number of hunters. Transform some areas into protected reserves. Ban hunting. Transform all natural areas into protected reserves. Import and introduce endangered species locally. Crikey's. Okay. So that would cost 108. I'm, I, I quite like this one. Transform some areas into protected reserves and ban the hunting. Because because what's the... Hunting is... Like, oh, this is a very divisive thing, this game, isn't it? Because I could be saying something, and you in listener land and viewer land out there could be going, Ah, Penjus an idiot. He said hunting is silly. I personally disagree with with hunting stuff like when they go out to Africa and go, Right, oh, I'm going to go and hunt a lion or something. You go, no, no, stop. Why? What? What is the point? You've got a gun. Give the lion a gun and it'll be fair. So I think... Yeah, let's ban hunting. Let's do that. 57, though. It's going to cost us some monies. No one really cares. <laughs> Absolute ambivalence that in its entirety. But more excitingly, this down here is flourishing. Look at it down here. Fancy pants. Okay, that's very good. The demand for lower stuff is now falling through the floor, look. Whereas the middle and upper is still quite high. Now, I thought that this was... Is, I, I don't really understand this. So that's upper class. Occupants, 10. Road access, yes. And all that kind of jazz. So there's some middle class stuff. There's an abandoned lot. Is it because it's next to several mines, possibly? <laughs> it might be the mines. Okay, never mind. That's fine. We can deal with that. More abandoned lot. Yeah, it's a bit of a ghost town around here. That's abandoned. Abandoned, abandoned, abandoned. Oh, dear. <laughs> Uh, yeah, is there a filter thing that I can put on to show the abandoned lots as opposed to the ones where people actually live here? I'd be intrigued to know. Uh, yeah, these are all low-income things. So yeah, so it's like the low-income stuff is just a house in the middle of a big yard. I've got like a little kind of tin shack out the back. And then you go up to middle class and you know, it's a very nice house. It's a bit more kept. There's some cars out the front. They've got a driveway. And then upper class is your, your gigantic houses. They've got a swimming pool or whatever at the back. Palm trees around it. Like, it looks like Bel Air or something. And look, it's just the high density housing. They've actually built a big building. Yeah, look, it's, it's changing. <gasps> yes, this is what I wanted. It looks a bit like Miami. That's what I wanted. And they're building another tall building. This is very exciting. Very exciting. Okay, yeah, that's what I wanted. I wanted the, the high density to turn into this, which is exactly what's happening. So that's splendid. Okay, yeah. Oh, my little my little city state's growing so well. I'm very excited. Quality of life. Utopian. Yes, everybody. I have created Utopia. You you may you may come and live in Pangea. Uh you have to uh give me tea. That's all I ask. Bring me tea every so often. A utopian way of life. That's crazy. That's crazy talk. However, I am losing... Well, not losing money. I've got 75 grand, but I'm uh, not making as much money. Another issue. Should the government limit foreign investments? In what exactly? What does that mean? Our borders are fully open to foreign capital and foreign ownership. Limit foreign ownership of companies. Allow investments. Ban foreign ownership of land and companies. Allow investments. Ban foreign ownership of land and companies and all foreign investments. Oh, I see. So, can foreign companies... An organisation or whatever buy stuff here. Ah, so we can limit the foreign ownership of companies and allow investments, which cost us some money, or we can ban foreign ownership of land and companies and allow investments. Yeah, I like that. Let, let's keep it all to ourselves. Let's keep all this to ourselves. And that's probably going to upset the upper class people, isn't it? But yeah, I think that's fine. So you can't, if you're a foreign company, you or whatever, you can't come in and and buy our companies and land. But you can invest in them if you do so wish. Yeah, all right, why not? Let's try that. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. So we've annoyed, we've annoyed the higher income people. 
sorry, oopsie, never mind, whatever. And I think, I think that's a good place to leave it for now, but it's going very well. I mean, given that I've got a quality of life of utopian, that's pretty flippin' impressive. And um, yeah, I mean, we've covered, yeah, I think that's about 20% of the island. If we put another bit there, another bit there, ish. Yeah, uh, as an average, as a bit of a rough guess, I think that is about 20%. So what I might do is, let's facilitate some immigration a bit more, and then let's just open it entirely. There we go. So my stability fell a little bit. That is creeping back up already. And look, we're going to get more high income people coming in, which is what they, is, is what this wants? I'm not entirely sure. Is that, is upper the same as high on that other screen? I don't know. Whatever the case. This is Pangea, the utopian society where everybody wants to live and it's all jolly splendid. And yeah, we're going to leave it there. So hang on, let's just put it back to, let's pause it in fact. Pause, there we go. So I think we'll come back again. I, I would like to get more issues done because that's kind of the crux of the game, isn't it? That's the, that's what the game's about. They come up fairly slowly. They come up relatively slowly. So I would like more of these. So maybe next time, what, what I might do is... What I might do, but I, I want to show when I get the when I get the issues in. I want to show the choices that I make. But yeah, I was thinking about expanding out this way. But yeah, I don't want to get an issue and leave it, and then it I don't know get abandoned or whatever. So no, we'll come back at this point, and I'll next time I will just probably hurry it along. I'll build that bit out, so we'll flesh that bit out, and then this bit down here. Try and make it all the way along. Actually, let's try and sort of do maybe half the island ish loosely so yeah try and get it all sort of built across built up across that way so this sort of whatever southwestern part of the island can be all full and yeah we'll just work our way through the issues as we come to them so i hope you are enjoying this i am actually enjoying this surprisingly a lot it it, it, it has surprised me with how how enjoyable it is it's quite refreshing to play a city builder game without having those worries of as i said earlier like oh no there's crime over here right i need to build a police station oh no there's fire over here there's not enough medical provision i need to do sewage i need to do water provision this kind of just does a lot of it for for you you have to imagine that amidst all these buildings things is a school somewhere i don't know where Oh, abandoned lots. But um, yeah, so I quite like that. It's quite refreshing. And then the government choice is actually quite nice. And it makes you think about your own values and things and how everyone should be doing stuff. So yes, I, I am enjoying it quite a lot. Hopefully you are too. If you are, please do leave a like and also please do subscribe. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I will see you next time. The pyramid was built far away. The terracotta was built far away. And the Great Wall was built far away. Far away sounds like a very good place to go, doesn't it? Greece, you handsome devil, Alexander. Hello there. King Nipplehead is not at the bottom of the table. I'm above him. Oh, and that was a rather ill-advised move.